So it's freezing cold in Johannesburg, but I've got a plan on how I'm gonna warm things up. I'm gonna use my friend the bench grinder over here. Now what am I gonna do with my friend the bench grinder? I'm gonna make one of these. And I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. It's a sharpened scraper. Now you get these with 3D printers, but they're not quite the same as the one I'm gonna show you how to make today. This is gonna be very, very, very sharp. I'm gonna show you what you need to do it, exactly how I make it, and what I can do with it. All right, so before we get into this, you're gonna to wanna to mark your scraper before you actually do it, and that's what the pen is for. Just on the edges, where you wanna cut off, just to give you some idea, otherwise you end up just cutting and cutting and cutting. Um, it's not the end of the world, but you don't want to take too much off. Essentially, you just want to get rid of those sharp edges. I've got a heat gun and I'm pretty much just warming the stickers. stickers off it still has a bit of glue on it but essentially what I'm going to do now with this is I want to get the edge sharp and if you look at that one you'll be able to see just that leading edge so I'll use a pen just to mark and I wouldn't usually do that um, but essentially where I'm going to sharpen it is just along that edge on both sides. So I'm going to start tapering that down. On the scrapers you, you usually get with the printers, they'll just run one edge along the whole length of it. What I'm going to do is actually run it on the side of the bench wheel to sharpen the whole surface. Okay, let me show you what I mean. sharp edge and I can tell you right now this is already razor sharp. I'm going to clean it up on the finer wheel. Look at that. You can see it's nice and shiny where I've been grinding at it. And I've taken sort of like two centimeters maybe an inch or so back from the edge and I've sharpened it gradually all the way to the front. Now, make no mistake, this will already work. And at this point, this is already sharp enough to give you a very, very nasty cut. But I'm not done. We'll move over to the other bench and I'll show you what I'm going to do there. The next step in this process is I'm going to use the emery tape. Now, again, uh, it's 1000 grit silicon carbide water paper 
I'm gonna put that down and just a little bit of water on there and I'm now gonna start wa working that edge now I'm holding it like that I'm holding it like that and I'm not putting it flat I'm putting some pressure on so that the leading edge is against the paper and it probably comes back to about a centimeter or around half an inch from the front front edge of that you'll see it's starting to get very very nice edge on it can you see that and that's what I'm walking towards so there you go you can just see there's just that front edge that I'm talking about and that is going to be, no jokes, razor sharp. Okay. There you can see I'm quite happy with that already. So I'm going to call that done. It's where I want it to be. I just need to go print something. So funny story, I'm just done with that video with regards to making this scraper over here. And as it so happens, last night I did the unboxing and build of this machine here, the Creality Ender 3. And as I started that stream, I was opening the box with the scraper and I actually nicked my finger with it. And you can see there in the overlay, it's a pretty nasty cut, like I said in the video. So this thing is sharp. and for pretty much the whole stream, I actually had a piece of duct tape around my finger because it's the only thing I had lying around here to just sort of strap up my finger and keep going with it. Needless to say, that sort of brings home the point of how sharp this thing is and how lethal it is when you're actually cutting with it. So please be careful with it if you do make this, but at the same time, it's really, really awesome. It cleans up the print job very, very nicely. And even on this, like the Biltec, it really gets in there and scrapes it off clean 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 it really is an awesome tool for removing print jobs and it's something I really like using even though I get the occasional tiny little flesh wound so please do be careful and that's it for now I'll see you guys soon please like subscribe and share this with your friends this is a really nice one to have Goodbye.